Hey, yo. Hey fam, welcome to another video. It's Frankie. I recorded a whole video yesterday and there's no audio. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick montage as to what I did. Basically, this is a whole new lip. The funny thing is it's listed as a 2014 to 2015 lip, but it does not fit. When I looked at the inside, it actually says 2011 to 2013. So they sent me, I'm assuming the wrong lip. It does not fit, so I had to adjust it and cut some areas up in order to make it fit. It looks perfect, so I'm going to show you those clips of what I recorded yesterday. So if you want to install a lip onto your 14 or 15, but you only find 11 through 13 size lips, what you're gonna to have to do is cut the back end that's supposed to slip on here. You're gonna to have to bolt it up the way I did. I actually like this look much better. It fits more uh, snug as well as uh, if I need to remove it, it'll be much easier. I just remove these two bolts. But the issue that was existing was this line here is too long. It was sitting at about here. So I had to shave off about an inch on each side. And then also the groove here did not fit flush it was sitting on top of the light so in order to fix that i had to cut the same dimension here on this part here so i cut about this much of material off in order to have it sit i like it it looks better and the best part is this is duraflex um polyurethane so it could flex better and it should last much longer compared to the previous one. So what I'm gonna work on right now real quick is do a coolant flush as well as bleed the system. There's no video on how to bleed the Kia um, Optima coolant. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. It's actually mandatory to do so or else you'll blow your motor because you'll have bubbles within um, the system. So once you have the car lifted, you remove the undercover. You're gonna get underneath and this bolt here you're gonna loosen it but not all the way completely just enough because this hole here is gonna start pouring out the old coolant and you're gonna wait until it starts dripping and there's nothing dripping out unscrew this one here so it could start draining the old coolant make sure the car is cold don't do this while the car is hot While I'm at it, I'm gonna drain the coolant reservoir as well. So we're gonna remove these two bolts here. So simply just disconnecting it here, taking it off. It's that simple and we're gonna help it drain. I'm gonna show you guys how dirty it is inside. I'm gonna rinse all that out. But just to give you an idea and you guys should check yours, look how much debris and dirt is inside of this one here. That's crazy. So it's finished draining. It's barely dripping in the canister. So we're gonna refill but first we have to plug the bottom port and then we could get to putting in the new coolant. Now it's time to put some new coolant in. The plug in the bottom is closed. Here we go. So the Kia takes about a gallon. So pretty much this whole container here. So this is the most crucial and important part when doing a coolant flush or coolant change. Squeezing this hose here. Try to get that air out from there you see all those bubbles guys that's what you mean by bleeding the system you want to make sure you get rid of all those bubbles because those are air pockets in which area it's not going to cover areas of the engine and it's going to cause the engine to overheat as you see all i'm doing is grabbing this hose here squeezing it seems like we got all the air pockets it's almost there See, there's barely any bubbles now at this point. We're gonna turn the car on to make sure all the coolant starts cycling through the motor and help also by uh, squeezing that pump in order to help get rid of all the air that might be still inside of the motor. The coolant going down because it's going through the motor, but we're gonna help get rid of all those bubbles that might still be within the motor. As you see, all the coolant that was inside of the cone has now gone down. So we're gonna fill it up a little more. And don't worry, you're not gonna overfill. Whatever's here will go into the reservoir. Make sure you don't fill that up yet until the very end. But now that the motor is cycling all this coolant, we're gonna be able to make sure 
we have no air pockets by bleeding the system. Right now is a good time to check if there is any leaks within the radiator. Pretty much good. We just gotta continue bleeding the system and that'll be pretty much it. It's that simple, you guys. This is how it should look at the end, no bubbles. Looks straight up just like some green Kool-Aid. And once you're done and you have it just like this, we're gonna fill the reservoir up to the full line and that'll be pretty much it and you're done. And just like that, it's that easy to do a coolant flush and coolant bleed on your motor. Just don't forget the part where you bleed the system because that's the most crucial part out of the whole entire process. You wanna do it? You call it. All right, fam, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please hit the like button. Also subscribe and um, also share with a friend if they in, they're in need of doing a coolant flush or bleed or if they wanna know somebody who does KDM-based videos. But that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.